Hello everybody, my name is Little Uni, and welcome to Animal Jam vs. Feral Heart. Just a few minutes ago I uploaded a different video, Animal Jam vs. Minecraft, and Animal Jam won. So uh, I have decided to do a video on Animal Jam vs. Feral Heart. So, very few people who are subscribed to me know what Feral Heart is. It's actually a really fun roleplay and a chatting game. Look it up, there are plenty of pictures and videos. Um, I don't remember what their website is, but I'm sure you can find it by yourself. Um, so, let's get started. So I'm going to be using the same chart as uh, as in the Minecraft video, so some things may be a little off, uh, but I'm going to do my best to do some decent and accurate um, research. So the first one is house and den items. However, in Feral Heart, you do not have a house or den that you can customize, but you can customize your own map, which other people can download and then you can all play on, play on it together. However, I think I'm going to give this point to Animal Jam because in order to have other people play in your customized place, uh, they have to download it off of somewhere, so you won't get very much publicity. So Animal Jam gets this point. The next one is customization. Uh, so with this one, I'm going to be going with animal customization. Uh, with Feral Heart, you have more customization to your colors, and you can have wings and fly around. Uh, in Animal Jam, you don't really have that much uh, color customization, but you can dress up your animal. But I think I'm going to go with Feral Heart, because you can put wings on yourself, and you can download special packs that allow you to get clothes. So I think Feral Heart is going to get this point. The next one is multiplayer interaction. This is pretty much just how the community works. Honestly, Feral Heart has a wonderful community, so Feral Heart, I think, gets this point. So the next one is chat freedom. As you know, uh, as I said in the beginning of the video at least, in Feral Heart it's mostly just a chatting and role-playing website. Uh, there are absolutely no chat rules whatsoever. You can say and do pretty much whatever you want. So, another point to Feral Heart. So the next one is cost worth. As we know, to uh, have the full content of Animal Jam, you have to pay at least $15 a month. Well, in Feral Heart, everything is 100% completely free, so um, Feral Heart gets another point. At this point, I personally think that Feral Heart is going to win. So, the next one is hacking and scamming problems. No matter where you go, you'll probably bump into a couple scammers on Animal Jam, uh, but with Feral Heart, uh, you can't get any of your items taken because, you know, you don't have any items to be taken. Uh, so the only form of hacking or scamming that you can get is if someone learns your username and password. Uh, so if they do that, they can do pretty much anything on your account. They can delete all your characters. They can change all your characters. So you won't, you're not as likely to get hacked into on Feral Heart as you are on Animal Jam, but if you do get hacked into on Feral Heart, you're doomed. So this is a really difficult uh, point to give. So I think neither of them are going to get a point because I feel like that Feral Heart is getting way too many points right now, and I want this to be a fair game, so no one gets a point in this one. Okay, so the last one is kid-friendly. How kid-friendly is Feral Heart, you may ask? Well, considering there are absolutely no chat rules, uh, you could bump into people talking about pretty much anything. So, 
Uh, this is pretty uh, difficult, actually, because it depends on what kind of people or what kind of room you're in in Feral Heart. But I think Animal Jam deserves this point because there are actually chat rules on Animal Jam, so you're more likely. So if you're like walking around trying to have a decent conversation about like tea or something, you're probably better off going on Animal Jam for that. So, the results are in. Feral Heart definitely won this one. <clears throat> Feral Heart won by two points. Um, so, statistically, Feral Heart is better than Animal Jam. Um, but it definitely is not for everyone. Uh, other than talking to other people and role-playing, there's pretty much nothing to do there. <clears throat> so, yes. So, uh, uh, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm a vampire, blah, 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 blah. Um, which game, well, if you are a player of both Animal Jam and Feral Heart, which game do you think is better? Um, so, comment down below what your opinion is. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the comments in one of my videos. Bye-bye!